This is H2O2 from H2O. So here's the production run of the PWM driver board. As you can see, it's, uh, it's about one inch by one inch. And here's the back side of the board. So let's see it in a uh, functional PWM. I wanted to do a quick demonstration of the uh, PWM driver uh, V2. It's this small, approximately one inch by one inch board here. This PWM here is, is on loan from Uno Assassin. So I got it hooked up. We're pulling uh, about 13 amps. Got some bubbles moving. Okay, so now I'm going to restrict the current down. Okay, so I got the uh, cell running at uh, approximately 7 amps. See the bubbles going? And now I'm going to uh, apply the jumper. Now if you listen real close, you can hear the humming of the PWM. As soon as I put on As soon as I jumper uh, J3A, the uh, PWM will go into a 100% duty cycle and the current will go to maximum. This is the peak current. So if you listen closely, you can hear the humming of the PWM. As soon as I apply that, the frequency will stop. And the current is maxed out. Okay, so now I'm going to remove it, and sound returns, and the current drops back down. Now the PWM driver has three functions. It provides the extremely fast on-off time to the MOSFET, and that reduces uh, the temperature buildup in the MOSFET because of the switching time is reduced. It provides the uh, J3A jumper so you can check your peak current. And then there's another feature um, that if you have a Texas Instrument uh, LM324 uh, op amp on your PWM design the Texas Instruments LM324 has a poor slew rate and it can affect your maximum frequency. It can also affect, uh, if you go above the maximum frequency, it can affect your duty cycle so that your uh, unit is not completely on uh, anytime. It never goes to 100%. So I've uh, adjusted the duty cycle um, and preconditioned the sawtooth generator in the LM324 to be smaller and that will allow you to obtain your 100% duty cycle. Now it's not required uh, for the uh, zero fossil fuel CC PWM V2 uh, of course, he checks all his, and, and he's using the uh, LM324. Um, 
from, I believe it's National, and that one doesn't have the problem. So you can leave that portion of the circuit out. Uh, however, that same piece of circuit um, will allow you to master your frequency. So you, if you're into uh, electronics a bit, you can actually tailor your frequency higher or lower than the uh, 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. Um, with this, I was able to get down to uh, 500 hertz uh, just by messing with the with the 20k pot, the frequency pot, and adding a, a parallel resistance to that. Uh, but we can take it further. Um, I haven't explored it uh, completely, but uh, it will allow you to adjust it without affecting the duty cycle. So if you're interested in upgrading your CCPWMV2 or the Zero Fossil Fuel CCPWMV2 or a clone of that, um, I have these boards available. You can purchase it as a raw PCB, a kit, or a finished board. This is H2O2 from H2O. Thanks for watching.